What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about things no one knows about Norway. And by no one, I mean Americans. And by Americans, I mean me today. <laughs> so I'm very excited to learn about these random, obscure facts and knowledge about Norway I really, really, really enjoy these types of videos because it tends to have stuff that I would never have otherwise learned about Norway, and I never quite know what to expect when the video is just, okay, 15 things you never knew about Norway. That excites me because I feel like there's going to be some fun, cool, kind of obscure stuff here that, as an American, I really have never heard before. So that sounds very enjoyable to me. So let's take a look. Here are 15 things you didn't know about Norway. Okay. Number one, Norway exports tap water. Really? Yes, you heard that right. Tap water. In exports tap water? Is it because Norwegian water is that good? or something that people want to buy it? Norway, the water is so pure that you can drink it from the tap with no problems. Their water- Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. In Norway, the water is so pure that you can drink it from the tap with no problems. Their what? water comes mostly from glaciers and natural springs. What? That don't need much filtration. Wow. I mean, I've seen sometimes on water bottles in America, like they try to advertise that the water is from fresh glaciers or something, but that's just the default in Norway. In America, in a, in a lot of American cities and places around America, you do not drink the tap water. Like there's no guarantee that it is healthy. You almost always want to run it through a filter, which they sell that you can put on your faucet at home. So, th and, and it's kind of amazing because America is like a first world country and all that, but this honestly blows my mind a bit. Norway has, in addition to so many nice things, like this wonderful high quality water, tap water, coming into your homes. That is fantastic. I'm a little jealous. You can even get their tap water at restaurants for free. Having such praised water supplies, they managed to market it and sell it as artisanal water all over the world. Yeah. We're talking about Voss water, the Norwegian brand selling bottled tap water. Voss water, it's, oh my gosh, talk about the perfect business. Just selling tap water, probably for a lot of money, because it's like considered high quality and people want the best of everything. I've never heard of this brand before though, Voss. I've never seen this Norwegian water brand, to be honest. This story was uncovered in the documentary film, A Drop of Luxury, where one executive from the brand admitted that the water is pretty much tap water <laughs> in a fancy bottle. Yeah, it's just marketing. Just put, But honestly, even though the, the business might be kind of questionable, it's very amazing just learning about how the water in Norway is better. Huh. Number two. Norsemen go to Sweden or Finland to buy cheaper alcohol. Ah. If you're planning to take a trip to Norway, make sure you bring enough money with you because even if it's a great country to visit, it's also extremely expensive. This is one I have heard about. Uh, most Americans do not know anything about this. Uh, Norway is expensive, but what we don't know, I learned, is Norwegians will travel outside of Norway to Sweden and Finland to buy stuff cheaper, like alcohol. That's just a totally foreign concept to Americans because America is so enormous. Like, you don't leave the country, like, ever, at all. Like, when Americans go on vacation, a lot of people vacation to different parts of America. So the fact that Norwegians drive to different countries in the same day and then go home and buy something is so different than anything in America. When it comes to housing, dining, transportation, and pretty much everything. The minimum wage is around $25 per hour, so money is okay. not a problem for the locals. But yeah. even so, they still like to buy cheaper items like food or alcohol. 
People right. travel between Norway and Sweden just to get cheaper alcohol and basic groceries for years. Police <laughs> stopped a truck at customs one time because it was transporting $2.8 million worth of undeclared garlic across the border from Sweden. Garlic. Oh my gosh. I mean, honestly, this makes sense uh, to me. It's just really like... To most Americans, this is just like, we've never even thought about doing something like this. That, that it's even possible. As reported by the Irish Times, if you ever visit Norway, maybe stock up on some alcohol and snacks huh. just to blend in. Hmm. Number three, famous movies and TV series were filmed there. Oh. Europe has been the set of a lot of movies and TV shows lately. More and more productions seek out old medieval cities, green yeah. plains, or high shores that cannot be replicated in the studios. You know, this makes a lot of sense to me. Um, I didn't know, I know that movies and productions and shows will travel around the world to find locations, but Norway is like this perfect place because it has some of the most, what I like to call, otherworldly views and scenes and landscapes that are like nothing anywhere else in the world. So it actually makes sense that they would go for Game of Thrones or Marvel movies, Thor, that they'd shoot some stuff in Norway because it has a very particular kind of look that you can't find anywhere. Such locations later become major tourist attractions mm. and offer people new destinations to travel to. Right. Norway is also on the list of famous sets with movies like The Danish Girl, The Empire uh -oh. Strikes Back, oh. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, huh? Ex Machina, or The Golden Compass. What? That's what I'm talking about. I had no idea. There's a lot of stuff shot in Norway, actually. I mean, it surprises me, but it doesn't. Because it, it, it makes a lot of sense looking at the Norwegian scenery, how perfect it is for movies. Being shot fully or partially there. Huh. If you want major FOMO design, watch Ex Machina as it was shot huh. in a breathtaking Scandinavian home. Number oh. four. They started a wealth fund worth one trillion dollars. Right. Norway has quite a small population and the northern part is not very inhabited since it snows all year round and temperatures are below zero almost all the time. That's why most of the population lives in Oslo, the capital mm. city, or the surrounding area where they can be closer to civilization. This is something I learned a long time ago. One of the first YouTube videos I watched about Norway was about the Sovereign Wealth Fund, about Norway and how well it's done with oil. Uh, and it's taken the money it's earned from oil and invested it for the future of Norway, which is amazing. And it's grown, and now Norway has this incredible trillion dollar wealth fund ready to go. Like, that is... What a great kind of, uh, that's, that, that would put a lot of trust in the government, honestly, as a Norwegian, to see how well they've handled the finances of this. Um, like, in America, most people are kind of wondering what we're spending stuff on. We're certainly not investing it and uh, being very impressive at saving money. Mostly it's spending it. So this is a very refreshing kind of point of view. The country relies on its oil extractions from the Northern Sea very much, right. and you'll right. be surprised to find out that most of the profits from the oil industry are secured into a wealth fund, which is yeah. now worth $1 trillion. Oh my gosh. This money is used by the population and for the population. Yeah. As of 2017, every citizen has $192 from that fund, and huh. it keeps growing while your Yeah, and even just the way Norway spends its taxes and stuff is just like so much better and transparent and responsible and yeah it's uh it kind of makes me jealous in a way compared to how america does it country might be in debt norway has money in a trust just in case something happens oh my number gosh. five the richest man in norway is john Fredriksen with a net worth of 7.3 billion dollars john Fredriksen. I actually don't know what John Fredrickson, what company he made or why he is so wealthy. I, I don't know. 
The person we're going to talk about now is most probably not known to a lot of people. In no. fact, a lot of billionaires are not out there in the media, on the red right. carpet or at major events. They usually run their businesses from their office or on their plane. John Fredrickson is the richest person in Norway and has a fortune of $7.3 billion as wow. of 2018. Wow. And most probably only people in Norway know about him and his business. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. I don't know anything about him. I don't think Americans are familiar with him at all. He made a fortune out of oil tankers and shipping, and he owns oh. the world's largest oil tanker fleet. Oh, okay. That, okay. That makes so much sense. That uh, it has to do with oil. Uh, we were just talking about it. Oil has basically made Norway very wealthy. And apparently it's made John Fredrickson very, very wealthy too. He also has major interests in other oil-related businesses and will probably mm. make some more investments in the near future to secure his place in the industry. Okay. Number six, Kevin Spacey is accused of abusing a member of the royal family in Norway. What? What? I know Kevin Spacey was like blacklisted from Hollywood. After coming out, uh, I think he was doing, uh, being inappropriate with members of his TV production crew. I had no idea it had anything to do with Norway. That's horrible. We've all heard about Kevin Spacey's abuse scandal. That br and it, and a member of the Norwegian royal family. Oh my God. Broke out a few months ago, and we even wept a little after his removal from the House of Cards final season. He was accused of sexual advances towards a 14-year-old boy back in 1986. Kevin Spacey stated that he does not have any memory of that, but he apologized publicly. But that wasn't enough, and his reputation had quite a bit to suffer after the scandal. Oh my gosh, I know this, this video is about things you, no one knows about Norway, especially Americans. I didn't know we were gonna go here. I mean, where? I mean, I didn't know. This is good stuff, because I really didn't know, but... I didn't know it was going to talk about this. Wow. Another victim came through regarding Kevin Spacey's behavior, and that person is a member of Norway's royal family. What? He told the media that Kevin Spacey groped him under a table at a Nobel Peace Prize concert in Oslo 10 years ago. What? His name is Ari Ben, formerly married to Princess Martha Louise and father of three, and he became the 16th man to accuse Spacey of sexual misconduct. Oh my God, 16 different people? accused Kevin Spacey. Uh, so there are a lot of people that are affected by it. I think it's just kind of shocking to me and to a lot of people that it was a member of royalty. And today I found out Norwegian royalty. Wow. Number seven, their Olympic skiing team had Nazi symbols on their sweaters. Huh? When you're born in a country where winter lasts almost all year long, it comes huh? as no surprise that in matters of sport, you'll be practicing the winter ones. This, uh, this video is getting a bit <laughs> controversial, dare I say. The Norwegian Olympic skiing team had Nazi symbols on the sweaters. What on earth is the story behind this? Norway's winter sports teams are always winning medals at the Winter Olympics or any other competition. Yeah. For the 2018 Winter Olympics, their designer tried something new for the team's official clothing. Oh, it, I... It was an accident. I I bet you anything it was accidental. Oh no. But in return, they only got negative comments and Nazi references. Their black and gray sweaters feature a symbol, Tyrune, representing the attacking Viking, a symbol okay. commonly associated with Viking and Norse mythology. But the symbol has also been used by extreme right-wing groups and is also the official emblem for Adolf Hitler's leadership school in Nazi Germany. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it wasn't an accident. It was on purpose, but the symbol means something entirely different uh, in this context. King in Norse mythology, representing the attacking Viking, a symbol commonly associated with Viking and Norse mythology. It's literally a symbol from Norse mythology. Viking symbol. So this was a symbol created way before Nazis or anything like that. So it has nothing to do with Nazis or anything. Okay, I get it, I get it. The designer got an F in history class. Mm. Mm. Wow, 
Uh, but I, I guess I understand why when they brought that to the Olympics and the rest of the planet, the rest of the world was looking, the rest of the world has no idea about Norse mythology or sim Norwegian symbols or anything. So everyone just kind of assumed it was a mistake or assumed it was in bad taste when in fact it's literally just like part of Norwegian Norse history. Uh, so, okay, I get it. I knew, I knew it wasn't like a malicious thing. That's, I was pretty darn sure. So, interesting. I mean, that's definitely something I didn't know. That's definitely something I did not know. And I think with that, we're gonna stop here. This video goes on for quite a while, uh, and we're only halfway done. So I think we're gonna finish this up in part two. I'm very much enjoying this. These are, I mean, <laughs> some of these facts, especially towards the end, are really out, out there. Stuff I had never heard about uh, in regards to Norway. And I think that's why I like it. I'm really, really enjoying this. Um, this video is willing to talk about a lot of controversial topics and just normal stuff that I didn't know. So I'm learning a lot about Norway that I never knew, which is fantastic, I have to say. So if you've been enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in part two or more videos just like this in general, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.